Mercedes-Benz is convinced that solid-state batteries are the technology of the future. And here is why they are convinced. Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. Welcome to your new subscribers to the channel. Great to have you. Make sure you check out some of the 700 videos that we've created over the last six months alone. Now, welcome back to everyone else. Great to have you all back as well. Mercedes-Benz. They have just invested a lot of money in a second solid state battery company. Now, on top of their existing partnership with Factorial Energy, Mercedes-Benz has announced its partnership with the Taiwanese battery company, Prologium Technology. Now, very few people have heard of Prologium, but clearly Mercedes-Benz sees their solid state technology as being worth investing in. So there's gotta be something to be said for that. Now, founded in 2006, Prologium claims to be the first battery company in the world to mass produce solid state lithium ceramic batteries. Now, on the cutting edge of battery technology, solid state batteries are said to provide higher outputs, longer ranges, and much shorter charging times versus existing lithium ion batteries. So, when can we expect a Mercedes Benz? to have a solid state battery? Well, it's a good question. Now, both companies, Mercedes and Prologium, expect to have the first Mercedes-Benz test vehicles equipped with solid state batteries co-developed with Prologium in the coming years. So they're not being very definitive here, unfortunately, about when we're actually gonna see their vehicles with these batteries. That is a little bit of a red flag to me. Clearly, the batteries work. I would say that's why Mercedes-Benz have invested in them. But clearly the question is, when and how can they mass produce? Of course, that's always the question with solid state batteries. Now, Mercedes is aiming to integrate the solid state battery technology into a range of Mercedes-Benz passenger vehicles in the second half of this decade. Mercedes-Benz says solid state batteries are one of the key levers for determining cost scalability and energy density of electric vehicle batteries. The German automaker also claims that solid state batteries can almost double the range of today's conventional lithium ion battery cells. Now, is that necessary? If you can currently get a car with around 700 plus kilometers of range, is it necessary to double the range? Well, I don't think it's necessary, but it sure would be nice to have that luxury and you can see why Mercedes-Benz considers this essential to their luxury cars. Here's what they actually said. We believe that range and efficiency are the new industry benchmarks for electric cars. Solid state tech helps to cut down battery size and weight. This is why we are partnering with companies like Prologium to ensure that Mercedes-Benz continues to break new ground in the automotive sector for the benefit of our customers. We have been working with Mercedes-Benz on testing all of our EV battery cells since 2016. It's news to me. And we are excited to strengthen and expand our partnership, said Vincent Yang, CEO and founder of Prologium Technology. We look forward to ramping up our new plant by the end of 2022 and working with our customers towards successful mass production. Now, under the agreement of this partnership, Mercedes-Benz will take a seat on the Prologium Board of Directors. The investment by Mercedes-Benz will be used to support the development of the technology and Prologium's plan of establishing production of their solid state batteries in Europe. Sounds like probably in Germany. Now, Mercedes-Benz previously announced it's going to be EV only by 2030, which is great news, where market conditions allow, which is not so great news. Now, it's still unclear though which markets the automaker is thinking of when it says where market conditions allow and which markets it's thinking or won't be EVs and which ones will be. Now, the German automaker isn't alone in exploring the mainstream feasibility of solid state battery technology with many other automakers getting in on the action as well. I, I recently reported about a Chinese electric car that just went on sale this month in January in China with a semi-solid state battery. I'll put a link in the description below to that vehicle. You should check that out. Very interesting. Now, Nissan recently announced it would be spearheading development of solid state battery technology for its alliance partners, Renault and Mitsubishi. The alliance plans on spending 36 billion Australian dollars, which is around about 28 billion US dollars, 
in the next five years on electrification and aims to begin mass production of solid state batteries in 2028. So not until another six years from now. Now, Toyota announced in late 2021 that it aims to sell only zero emissions cars in Europe by 2035 with solid state battery technology being a part of that plan. Now, I'm not sure what Mercedes plans on selling between 20, say 2028 and 2035 in Europe. I don't think anyone's gonna be wanting to buy anything that's not an EV for those seven years, but it does seem as though maybe Toyota has sort of given up on the European market at this point. So it's sort of a moot point really. Now, the Japanese giant has been testing the technology since 2020 and says it will first introduce solid state batteries in its hybrid vehicles. Seems like a strange decision to me. What do you think of that? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, Toyota says using the batteries in its hybrids first will enable it to gain customer feedback before rolling out the tech in its upcoming EVs. It seems as though um, the people who will be trialing whether the vehicles work or not will be the customers. So I'm baffled by that. But anyway, what do you think of Toyota bringing out solid state batteries in a hybrid plug-in hybrid vehicle. Do you think that makes sense? I personally think it's completely illogical, but you know, that's just me. Let me know what you think. Now, Toyota says a short service life is the primary concern with solid state batteries, which can also perform poorly in colder temperatures. Now, over the last few years, that was a concern with lithium batteries, but cars have become better and better at dealing with cold temperatures or lithium, current lithium technology has become better and better at dealing with cold temperatures as evidenced by some of the tests of electric cars recently over the last few months on Bjorn Nyland's channel, YouTube channel, by the way. Building on Mercedes-Benz's existing partnership with Factorial Energy, Hyundai and Kia have also partnered with a US battery startup to test its solid state batteries in their electric cars. Now, BMW and Ford, in addition, have both invested in rival US startup called Solid Power that also specializes in solid state batteries. Hyundai's previously invested in the company as well. In December of 2020, Volkswagen-backed company QuantumScape announced it'll have its solid state batteries ready for production in 2024, while GM's recently announced battery development center in Warren, Michigan, will develop solid state batteries among other types, including silicon. As you can see, actually probably more than half of the world's current investment dollars that are going into solid state batteries are actually in solid state battery companies that are located in the United States. It's interesting to see that. Now, some people have claimed that whichever battery company makes a solid state battery that works and is cost competitive wins motor vehicle transport from 2025 to 2040. This is an enormous amount of money on the offer for the winner. Now, I actually don't agree with that at all. I think solid state batteries are great, but they're really a niche market luxury niche market. I think it's highly unlikely they'll be part of the mainstream automotive market until 2035 at the absolute earliest. I think you'll find that lithium iron phosphate batteries will take up the majority of the market during that period of time as the cost will never be, well, at least not for a minimum of 15 years, be comparable between lithium iron phosphate batteries and solid state batteries. So I think you'll find that range for all lithium iron phosphate batteries in cars will con continue to improve. Therefore, by say 2026, 27, 28, any, almost any car will be able to be equipped with lithium iron phosphate batteries and have enough range for basically anyone. So having a solid state battery will be a nice, but it'll be more like having a luxury feature that you don't actually need. Awesome to have, but not actually necessary in terms of powering your car. But I could be wrong. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And have a great day. I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.